Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. The 25th juz or para of the Qur'an uh, ends off with a few verses of Surat Fussilat and then begins uh, with Surat Ashura. Uh, and Surat Ashura, uh, like the previous surah and the surahs to follow, uh, revolve around the same theme of uh, the, the, the truth of the revelation of the Qur'an uh, as well as um, calling the people to uh, the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and refuting uh, the Mushrikun. Uh, and among the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, in this surah, in surah Tashura, uh, is that there is nothing like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no resemblance between Allah and His creation. There is nothing like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this verse is uh, a foundation that we build our uh, aqidah upon when it comes to understanding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes. That whatever Allah has mentioned of His names and attributes in the Quran or that has been mentioned in the Sunnah, uh, we cannot resemble them to uh, the attributes of Allah's creation. He is unique, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in every way. And there is nothing that resembles him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, also, <coughs> we have um, uh, in the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions towards the end of it, uh, that uh, basically, he subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who uh, blesses us with children, whether they be sons alone, only sons, or daughters, only daughters, or whether Allah blesses us with both sons and daughters, or if Allah does not bless anyone with neither a son nor a daughter. Allah emphasizes here that it all, that it all goes back to the knowledge and the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, we should always uh, we should always be referring back to the knowledge and the wisdom of Allah when it comes to such matters and we should not be thinking oh why why has Allah blessed me with this and he has not blessed me with this or why has Allah blessed so and so with this and he has not blessed me with it and so we should put our uh, basically we should put this matter in the hands of Allah and say Allah does what He does based on His knowledge and His wisdom. And then in the very last verses of this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings our attention to the importance of the Qur'an and this revelation. And Allah describes this, this revelation, this wahi, as being a ruh, uh, something that gives life to the hearts. And so, you know, ask yourself, uh, how much uh, have I benefited from the Qur'an? You know, is, is my... Is my heart being revived? And, uh, you know, is there life in my heart uh, as a result of me reading the Qur'an? After that, we move on to the next surah, and that is Surah Az-Zukhruf, uh, carrying on with the same theme of, uh, you know, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, mention of uh, life after death and the truth of resurrection. Uh, also, we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning in this surah uh, the story of Musa and Fir'aun and how uh, Fir'aun was arrogant and, uh, you know, how uh, he basically, you know, uh, deceived the people by, by making him, uh, by, by, you know, telling the people that look at what I have, look at this huge... Uh, you know, kingdom that I have, and look at all this wealth that I have. But, you know, this is not how we uh, measure things uh, when it comes to measuring who is upon the truth and who is upon the and who is upon falsehood. And that's why Fir'aun was drowned, and his, you know, he met his fate. But Musa alayhi salam, Allah gave him victory even though he had nothing. Uh, also, Allah mentions uh, in various places in this surah. Uh, Isa alayhi salam 
and how uh, you know the Christians attribute uh, uh, attribute to Allah a son, and how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is uh, innocent and free of such an attribution. Then we have the last two surahs of this juz, Surah Al Dukhan and Surah Al Jathiya. They are very very short surahs. Uh, and they revolve around the same uh, topics, highlighting, uh, you know, uh, the fact that, you know, the Qur'an is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also addressing some of the arguments made against the Qur'an. Uh, also, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the fate uh, of the kuffar. And so we have in these two surahs a uh, mention of, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the blessings that the people of Jannah will have and the fate of uh, the the kuffar and how you know uh, they will they will eat from uh, the tree of zakum and also how they will call upon uh, the guardian of uh, the guardian of hellfire malik and so his name is mentioned uh, here in in uh, in this surah uh, he is an angel and he is the one who uh, basically is the guardian of hellfire and so the people of Hellfire will call upon him and say, you know, uh, tell your Lord to just wipe us out, finish us off. And so, you know, uh, how he responds to them is there mentioned uh, in this surah. With that, we come to the end of uh, this juz. Uh, and until uh, the next session, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.